With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. Let's take a question. Here the question says a system undergoes a process in which delta u is equal to plus 300 joule while absorbing 400 joule of heat energy and undergoing an expansion against 0.5 bar. What is the change in the volume in the liters? So here we can use the first law of thermodynamics. Why? Because here we are already given with the delta u and the value of Q also is given to us. Okay, these both values are given and pressure is also given. We know that the work done is, is equal to the minus P external into delta V. Okay, so this formula can be applicable which relates all the three terms and it is our first law of thermodynamics. Okay, in the first law of thermodynamics, first law of thermo dynamics okay so in the first law of thermodynamics our delta u is is equal to the q plus w and our w is is equal to minus p external that is the pressure against expansion into delta v into delta v and we have to calculate the change in volume okay so our delta u is also given in the question, q is also given in the question and from here we can calculate the delta v. So if we can write it as delta u is equal to q, right, plus here it will be minus p external or we can say expansion into delta v, okay. So here our delta u is plus 300 joules and our Q is that is heat energy. Q is our heat energy that is 400 joules and pressure is 0 0.5 bar. So here it will be 300 joules. Energy, heat energy 400 joules plus here it will be minus 0 0.5 into delta V. Right? So here we will have minus 100 joules is equal to minus 0 0.5 bar delta V. But now in the question it is given that we need the value of volume in the liters. We need the value of volume in the liters and we know that 1 liter 1 liter bar is equal to the 100 joules is equal to the 100 joules. So here if we have here it will be 0 100 joules is equal to 0 0.5 bar delta V. Okay, so here it will be 1 liter dot bar is equal to 0 0.5 bar delta V. So from here our delta V will be is equal to 1 liter dot bar upon 0 0.5 bar. So here we will be left with the 2 liters left with the 2 liters and that's our required answer. We required the delta V value in the liters for this whole system and that is delta V is equal to 2 liters is our required answer. Okay, so in the question our answer matches with the third option and that is correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.